Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that slide and tilt mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. It's kind of similar to the Katir or NX version. So let's take a look. See how it slides and tilts as wanted. Now let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. Now, in order to use those step files, which you can download from my GraphCAD account, you have to open them separately. So let's go for step files. One would be the guide plate C. And you have to save it as SOLIDWORKS part. So I will save it as guide plate yt and then let's open the tilting part again go for step tilting part open it and save it as solidworks part and i will call this one tilting part yt then you have to make a new assembly so go for new go for an assembly bring in the guide plate place it somewhere it will be fixed and then bring in so where is my that's interesting <laughs> Okay, so let's show our workspace. Okay, and bring in the second part, that would be the tilting part, and just place it somewhere. Now I want to do two mates. First mate between this surface and that surface here. Go for coincidence and then another one. Let's move it around, move it slightly over here. And I need a tangency constraint between this surface like that and this surface. Okay, now in order to make it slide and tilt here, I will need a sketch in this part and a point in that part. In the meantime, I've saved my assembly. So let's edit this part first. That would be the guide plate. And let's go for edit part. And I will need a sketch on that surface. Let's look from above and bring in with convert entities those edges. Let's go for select chain. Maybe it will select. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. So let's select them. Okay. Confirm. And now I will need some arcs one which starts here goes maybe up to this point and should be curved in this direction then add a concentricity constraint okay go for another arc which starts here you could try to go for a tangent arc like this select the point Let's zoom in a little bit here and it should go in that direction up to maybe yeah, this point here. Okay, again add concentricity between this arc and that arc. And then the last arc, three point, which goes from that center to this one and like that 
make it tangent and make it concentric. So this edge and that arc should be concentric. Okay, great. Finish that sketch and leave the part edit mode. Now I need a point in this tilting part. And I could try to make an axis maybe along that here and then go for an intersection point between a plane. Ah, there is not a plane because that's a surface and there is no intersection point. So I want to go for a sketch. So let's go to this part and edit it. And then I want to make a sketch on this surface here. And I need a point and I need some edges. So let's bring in convert entities, maybe this edge and that edge, because that should do. Confirm. Then I need a line which goes from this point to that point. This should be for construction only. These small elements as well. Okay. And I need a point just there on that line, the midpoint. Then finish that sketch and leave the edit part. Environment. Now I will need a constraint between this point and that path. So let's see if we can just put it there or if we have to position it beforehand. We will see. So let's go for an advanced mate. And that would be a path mate. First we need the point. So let's see if we can snap into the point. And that would be, where is it? Where is that point? There it is, this point here. And this should be on that path. And therefore we will use the selection manager and go for an open profile and select this curve here. Confirm. Yeah, it's driven over there. And we can confirm. Cancel this out. And we're done. So let's just test it. So if we grab that part here, it will move along that path. And of course, it will tilt and slide. Hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice if you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.